Now, again, this is obviously the same day, 27th of June, uh, last week Wednesday, and I'm going to take you straight to the open of uh, the 230 session. So it's the cash open, uh, 230 GMT. Now. What we can see, market opens, um, and we shoot down to 27, 29 and a quarter. Now, it shouldn't surprise you, this 27, 29 and a quarter uh, is actually, if I show this to you, um, I'm just going to get out of this, move this a little bit. Okay, so if we go back to our chart here very briefly, we can see that 27, 29 and a quarter, um, oh, excuse me, I'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so let's get back onto it now. So what we can see, market opens, drops down to 29 and a quarter. Okay, right now we've got nothing. All we have is a footprint chart. Uh, it looks pretty, and we can see all of a sudden the market starts to go bid up. Now remember what I said to you. We know that we have a very important initial balance high. Why? Because obviously it's protecting the previous day's high. So we've had a failed inside day break. We've got a, an initial balance high that's very close to the previous day's high. Now, one of the most important or one of the key strategies we were all looking for in the open was the break of that initial balance high. Okay, And it came relatively quickly. So what we were looking for was this first little rejection. And then we started to place our longs around that 27.33 area. Okay, now, what I want to talk about is not necessarily the break. I want to talk about what occurs on the break because that's the real key on the footprint. Okay, so we can see market comes to that initial balance high at 34 and a halves and takes it out quite aggressively. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom this in so you can really see this. Okay, Notice what happens on the break here. What we can see is that just uh, after the break, a buyer absorbs 1,400, but he also lifts 1,500. Okay, So at one price, we've transacted 3,000 in the favor of the buyer. Okay, now straight away, that should tell you Okay, that, that's a chunky amount of volume at one price. Okay, more importantly, this buyer is so aggressive, look what he does at the next price. Okay, he lifts a thousand at the market and he's so intent on getting filled that he goes to the next price and the next price. So he doesn't even allow sellers to step in and sell, and that's why we've got those zeros there. Now, Whenever we see a zero, we call this an imbalance. Now, I'm not going to go over the specifics of it. I'm just going to show you the strategies. All of this is covered in detail, strategy by strategy, in the footprint course. Okay, so imbalances are a very key strategy, but it's also a very telling piece of information. In simple terms, when we get these imbalances, it tends to tell you that the market's going to continue in that direction until a certain point. Okay. So note the market, the, the buying continues. We can see, look how aggressive the buyer is. Again, another 3,000 at one price. Again, 3,500 at the next price. And again, almost 2,000 at the next price. Add that up. That's another eight, 9,000 over three more prices all after the break. Okay. So we can very quickly see that almost 15,000 contracts gets transacted in five prices in a space of a couple of minutes. Okay. Remember, each one of these rotations is five minutes long. Okay, so that was the real first key takeaway. It was that initiative drive that came in. It was that you know real open, strong open drive, which we can see on the footprint, but we can also see it uh, on the profile. All right? The market then continues. Okay, this is a very usual pattern to see with an open drive. We usually get that continuation, high probability for it, and we get continuation to the upside. Okay, so a clean breakout from 35s up to 42s. The market then consolidates. Now, one of the things I spoke to you guys about in, in our previous two sessions was an open drive. What we're not looking to do is we're not looking to be you know, preempting. Okay, we're looking for the price action and responding. Right, so we get the first pullback and we get the opportunity to get long with this open drive. Okay, and that's the second of our strategies is the continuation pattern of that open drive from 39s all the way up to 45s. Okay. So two really good opportunities there, both the imbalance as well as the open drive pullback. Uh, straight away, we've had two key you know, trades that we could have taken right on the open of the session. Uh, we're a half an hour in and we've had two solid, solid trades. Again, note the imbalance. So we break out of this little sideways structure after you know, spending 20 minutes there. We break above the 42s and again, note the aggression from the buyer. So intentional, he's not willing to let the sellers even sell a one lot. Okay? And the market catapults up to 45s. Now notice what happens for the first time, and this is where I'm going to bring in, uh, bring into play now the actual delta. Okay, so we can see at the bottom here yeah, the delta being nice and positive, nice and blue. We got a little bit of selling at the 42s. Sellers became more aggressive, but they couldn't get prices down. Okay, now when we have aggressive selling but prices don't move, that's telling us buyers are absorbing the bid, all right, as opposed to moving out of the way. The opposite of that would be if sellers were selling aggressively and prices, were, you know, drove down all the way. That would be quite a key reversal. Okay, 
what we see now if we continue on is once we get up to those 45 look at the absorption here okay so look how much more liquidity the sellers are suddenly providing okay if I scroll that back for you notice before very little liquidity being provided up at 40s to 42s we move on and notice the shift in liquidity so suddenly three more handles higher and we're seeing someone step in and finally for the first time provide quite a lot of liquidity now note providing liquidity does not imply a top in the market it just means someone stepping in to sell it okay what it does mean if you're a buyer is to back off okay because if someone's selling it and someone's holding the market prices are not going to accelerate to the upside okay if anything the probability of an extension is becoming diminished all right now note we eventually take out those 45s okay that's the point we'd call this a bit of pocket positioning that's the point where liquidity has been provided the market extends upon that so the market then extends upon that and um, what we can see is the market gets all the way up to the 2748s and suddenly uh, you know that last little bit of a maneuver starts to get counted okay so we can see a lot of uh, bid up all the way up to 48s and all of a sudden we start to see uh, you know some very aggressive sell side step in uh, once we get up to those 27 48s now one of the things that um, you very often see when you have got imbalances in the market is that there's a very very high probability that they do tend to get not just retested uh, but traded out now we can see that first little imbalance of the 2742s here with the green line notice how that acts as almost a, a little bit of underlying support in the market uh, before we you know test up at that 2748 um, and you'll see that again in the second instance if I just scroll this down a little bit that first imbalance that we left at 27 36 35 and a half from earlier on the open drive notice again how the market comes back almost uses that as a, a sort of a you know, hidden support and again it acts as a, a real sort of barrier to the market moving lower initially um, now let's talk a little bit about this reversal okay we'll call this a this is called a key auction reversal and I'll explain to you how it works okay now a key auction reversal the underlying characteristics in in basic okay remember every one of these strategies uh, is almost you know it's explained over a two-hour uh, session in the pro in the uh, footprint course so again I'm gonna give you a brief understanding but the essence of a key auction reversal is that we get an equal and opposite Delta switch okay so what that means is we get this volatile candle to the upside okay notice quite a wide range a relatively high volume and a relatively high Delta we then get the switch okay so we almost get an equal and opposite similar volume in the next candle the Delta is similar amount to the previous one but negative so the first one is positive and negative uh, and then we obviously also get a price reaction that's the third real key for a key auction reversal okay so to briefly explain it's the volatility with volume and Delta we get the switch and then price in that direction and this is our key auction reversal yeah it's this it's this one time framing nature with a negative Delta in other words the sellers have stepped in taken control of this market to drive prices lower okay that was our third you know key trade now every one of these strategies I've explained to you so far has got their own methodology for execution the one I'm gonna show you today is the Delta unwind okay so what's so important uh, about this trade strategy is that the positioning in this market at this point in time is still net long why because of that initiative drive because of that open drive because of the break of the previous day's high and the initial balance high now that high comes in uh, around the 27 uh, 29 and I'm going to show you what that looks like uh, as it breaks down a little bit later on uh, in this session now what I want to talk to you about just before we get to that again it's a lovely little bit of uh, you know auctioning that takes place again another bit of pocket position we can see as the market comes down to that 2731 33 area again notice the chunky amount of absorption by a step in they provide liquidity the sellers try one last time once it comes back above that point notice the rotation all the way back up to the 2742s okay so again we've seen so many uh, almost repeated patterns in the footprint over a course of you know almost two and a half hours with so many different little opportunities uh, you know playing out um, you know very early on uh, in the session now 
The trade strategy I'm going to take you through in terms of execution is the breakdown uh, in the delta run wine. Now again, this is a strategy dealt with in the course, but the basic premise of it is when there's natural positioning in the market because of a technical break, uh, we can take advantage of that positioning once certain price thresholds uh, are broken. Okay, and this is the real key. This 27, 29. Uh, again, if I'm going to illustrate this, I'm going to probably do it for you um, on uh, a five-minute chart. So I just want to take you to that point um, and take you to the 27, so you can have a look at it. And uh, there we go. Okay, so we can see it. Yeah, there's the 27, 29. Okay, so we can see the market opens up drives up, comes back, retests that opening price. Okay, that opening low became effectively a double bottom. Right? It then went but a second time. And this is the key. Once we take out that 27, 29, we're looking for the continuation to the downside as that positioning needs to unwind. Okay, and that's the real key. That's what we want to capture. It's that you know that move from 27, 29s all the way down to 27, 15. It's a good 14 handle move in in 15 minutes, guys. Okay, that's almost the you know it's almost double the you know the the the, the previous range that we've set in the cash session. Um, so that's why it's a lucrative strategy. And this is where I'm going to show you how the execution works. Okay, now one of the mistakes a lot of traders make is they always look at a level as a uh, as a binary outcome. In other words. If we get below 27, 29, they sell and the market should just capitulate. It doesn't work like that. It's not that simple. Uh, it's a lot more nuanced. And this is where the footprint comes in handy. Okay. What we can see as we approach that 27, 29, first of all, notice this chunky little bit of absorption here. Okay. So that's already telling us there's actually a buyer providing liquidity here. Right, that's the first hint that this is not going to be straightforward, you know, stop run to the downside and a collapse. Right. The market then comes down and takes out that 27, 29, and again, look at that, 1,700 contracts provided below the breakpoint. Right now, remember what I, you know, I often say this: if we expect stop out, if we expect a, a position unwind, all right, and people need to be selling, we don't want to see someone standing there in the way, providing 1,700 lots, providing you know almost six, seven thousand lots. Okay, so that's the real key takeaway. We call this absorption. Right. Now, what we need to see to get us involved is we need to see that buyer give up. We need to see an acceptance below 27.29. Right. So the market goes bit up, and again, notice how it thins out. Okay, Audible completely thins out, a little bit of absorption on the offer, comes down a second time. Okay, now this is the key. Look how we take out that 27.29. Notice the difference in the bids now. Okay, no 1,700 lots, no 2,000 lots. 600 lots, 720 lots, 300 lots. Okay, and that's the key takeaway. It's the acceptance below that 2729. That tells us that that buyer is now finished. That order and the liquidity provided is now finished. The market comes back to 2729s and look what price it gives you. Okay, 950 contracts filled at 29 a quarter gives you almost the perfect price entry and the market then capitulates. Okay, we can see that delta unwind. Note the negative delta, negative delta, negative delta. Also notice how the volume picks up as price accelerates to the downside. Okay, so that's our key takeaway from today, guys. That's our key strategy. Now I want to just come back to the um, the PowerPoint and really you know, drive home what we've seen here today. Right? We've 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 seen initially uh, an initiative drive. Okay, that's what we've seen. It's the break of the the initial balance high. Uh, it's a break out of that key daily high. We've seen that open drive, that initiative drive come in early on. Okay, we've then seen the market, uh, you know, show us absorption and auction. We've really seen those sellers providing liquidity. Eventually, the market extended slightly beyond that, and we got a key auction reversal. Really, really, you know, specific key auction reversal um, that effectively was the top of the day. Okay, um, we then obviously have two very unique auction imbalances that you know showed us the way very early on okay those auction imbalances uh, as I discussed you know for in extent in the course really show you some really key trading opportunities that will keep you on the right side of the market and then lastly the footprint delta unwind um, you know that was again a good 15 handle move you just needed to capture five or six handles of that uh, and the day was pretty much done.
all right five strategies one session uh, a lot to take in go watch this video back and make sure that you're aware of all of those but again guys you know it's uh, unfortunately you know you're not going to learn these concepts in a day you're not going to learn these concepts just by watching this video um, you're going to have to go through each one of these 10 strategies through the footprint course you're going to have to take the 30-day challenge you're going to have to spend the time learning all the principles that underlie these strategies if you want it to be effective okay um, so let's then wrap up uh, obviously you know with regards to templating I'm, I'm not going to go through this this week it is a bit short on time uh, but if you've been following the last couple of streams you know what this is all about uh, again this is dealt with quite extensively throughout the course okay um, some questions uh, that was was asked during the week um, and again two relevant questions thank you for for posting those or emailing me how can I create my own strategy to the footprint course okay uh, it's very simple um, what the footprint course teaches you in the beginning is it teaches you all the variables okay it shows you everything about the footprint tool but also all the underlying principles things like large time frame participants things like liquidity things like stop runs it teaches you all these principles okay so that when you actually start utilizing the tool you can start to identify oh okay that is absorption oh okay that looks like a you know a large time frame participant what will happen when you start applying the footprint day in day out across you know multiple markets is you're going to begin to recognize the patterns that come from the footprint okay those patterns are what you're ultimately going to utilize to form your strategies okay obviously within the course everything is about templating okay i take you through a very very uh, guided approach where you utilize the the same template for every one of the 10 strategies the reason I've done this is that when you do recognize your own patterns utilizing the footprint uh, tool, you can then apply it to the template and further develop that strategy. Okay, so the, the course was done in such a way that it, it forces you to ultimately uh, learn a process of adopting the footprint tool. Okay, second one, how can I practice using footprint tool as there are so many things to look at or consider? It all feels a little overwhelming. Okay, this course highlights 10 strategies, guys. Now. Um, I'm going to tell you something that's probably counterintuitive to the course, but you only need one. Okay, you only need one strategy uh, to be successful. You only need to identify one strategy. Uh, you know, make money out of one strategy with leverage to to really be successful. Um, you know, that's the real key takeaway. So the first thing is don't feel overwhelmed. The course is there to give you ten strategies because different people, uh, you know, approach the markets differently and they, you know, look at things differently. So that's the important thing. Uh, don't stress too much about that. Um, you know, just make sure that. Um, you know, if you uh, if you do feel a little bit overwhelmed, remember you only need one strategy. 